Okay, 19 year old Cristiano Ronaldo is taking over the Premier League. Playing at Man City, he scored 17 goals in 18 games, making him the current top scorer of the Premier League tied with Mo Salah. Now, it's not all been perfect though. We've seen that this Man City team is not quite as dominant as we know. And right now, we're not even in first place. But last episode, Ronaldo tried playing striker, and we had three wins in a row, including a Champions League win versus Real Madrid, where CR7 scored a hat trick in Erling Haaland's face. So it feels like we're on the rise with Manchester City. But more more importantly today, the moment we've all been waiting for for so long will finally happen. So of course, drop a like if you are enjoying this series and let's get back into it. Now ESPN has just announced that Cristiano Ronaldo has been selected for the Portugal national team for the very first time and his international debut will be coming up soon and it's versus Spain. Now first comment today though, you should at some point in this career reunite with Chabi Alonso. And also what mods do you use for your skill points? Yeah, I just use the cheat engine live editor for pretty much all the mods in the series other than the Ronaldo face mod and uh, us reuniting with Chubby Lonzo would mean probably us joining Real Madrid, which I've seen in the comments a lot of people uh, talking about the idea of us joining Real Madrid, whether we should or we shouldn't. I think right now we're not exactly thinking about uh, switching to a new team, but who knows what could happen in the future. And next one, you should update all the kits after a season ends. Yeah, if we stay at Man City for next season two, probably, then I'll get us new kits for that next season. We'll definitely do that. Now, last one, I think you should keep Ronaldo as playing as a left winger until later on in his career where you can then switch him to striker. Yeah, so I saw comments saying we should keep him as a left winger, comments saying we should keep him as a striker. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a poll on my community tab when this video goes goes live just a simple poll whether you want to play at striker or left wing so two options and then that also will affect maybe our transfer strategy in january that if ronaldo stays at striker maybe we sign a left winger and then vice versa same if ronaldo stays as a left winger so that poll should be up by the time this video goes live now if you guys remember our new play style and lock system ronaldo currently has 102 goals scored in his career so he's unlocked another play style slot so along with a play style slot from last episode ronaldo has four skill points to use in this episode so four skill points plus a play style slot that's not bad now while you guys go vote in that poll for this episode i'm going to keep Ronaldo at striker, I think. And then next episode, we'll see based off that poll where he should play. So we got four skill points. I think our dribbling definitely needs to be improved. So one on dribbling to 94 and also one on ball control to 93. With our third skill point, we're going to upgrade long shots and also penalties. And then fourth skill point, we're going to do balance to uh, plus three to 83. So I would say a solid upgrade. Uh, very solid because as a striker, Ronaldo is now 90 rated for the first time in this series. And he's becoming one of the best players in the world. And now we get this second play style slot. So we currently have rapid as our first play style. So we have uh, another one to pick from here. Now we could obviously switch these out if we don't like them, but I, the ones I'm looking at right now are first touch, which would help our dribbling speed, I think. We could go with finesse shot to make our finesse shots uh, more accurate or maybe improve our free kicks. I think honestly, the most useful would be uh, more pace with that first touch one. I feel like that's probably the most useful. So has reduced error when trapping the ball and is able to transition to dribbling faster with greater control. Hey, that sounds just like Prime Ronaldo. So we're going to use that. And that's going to come at a very useful time because as we just learned, you could see it there. Portugal FA announced a national friendly squad. In the list of forwards, there is Cristiano Ronaldo alongside others. So Ronaldo is about to make make his Portugal debut. And it's been a long time coming. This should have happened a while ago, but hey, it's finally happening now. Now for his uh, international debut, which boots should we wear? I think for his Portugal debut, we're going to wear these. Uh, they're kind of like gold Nikes. I mean, they're very flashy and Ronaldo's flashy. So why not? Let's also go short sleeves today. And Ronaldo is ready for his Portugal debut. So before his first game, he meets with Portugal manager, Roberto Martinez, who says, Cristiano, it's great to finally have you here. And I plan for you to be very important in the World Cup next summer. Ronaldo says he's excited to play for his country. And Martinez says your debut is going to be a big one because of course we are playing Spain. So Portugal v Spain, international friendly, one of the biggest moments in this series, Ronaldo's international debut, and that is the starting 11 in Ronaldo's first ever Portugal squad. So in Portugal v Spain, man, what a game for a debut of one of the most highly coveted players in world football right now, Cristiano Ronaldo. So this hopefully is going to be a very nice debut. We're going to see. So we are kicked off. Ronaldo first time playing for his country. Now I feel like we're pretty good, but also Spain is pretty good too. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. We're going to see. Like how good actually is this Portugal team? That's a good steal by Gonçalves, our former teammate at uh, Sporting we got the chemistry with him already. Definitely enjoyed playing with him. Now our plan, it, was, it looked like a five at the back, right? So it seemed pretty defensive. Not sure I like that that much, but we'll see. Coutinho, great ball to Mendez. Mendez, cross to Ronaldo header attempt. No, that could have been a dream, like first touch goal there. Bro, the header was right at Sanchez though. I was aiming for the corner. Coutinho to Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets it over to Trincao. Man, I feel like about a score. I feel it. Coutinho to Ronaldo. Skips around one. Should have got fouled though. Okay, that's a foul, right? Okay, apparently not. Ronaldo turns though, goes for a shot, and that is the first goal of Ronaldo's Portugal career. And also the first Portugal Sui. Man, that was a little bit easy. Like, we just went around those defenders like nothing. Maybe that's the new play style. I don't know. But 1 0 to Portugal. This is already a dream debut. And he skipped around like two defenders there before that shot, by the way. Like, that was disgusting. Yeah, the World Cup is after this season. So, man, that's going to be so much fun. And our journey getting ready for that World Cup starts now. Oh, man, Mendez, great steal. Gonzalez making a run. Now, I'm not sure where to go here. We should have uh, drifted probably out wide. Yeah, it's very defensive with the three center backs. So, like, we don't have that much support. 
support when we're in the attack. But Ronaldo doesn't need that much support. He doesn't need it. Dinkau gets it to Pereira. This is not bad. Pereira. Can he get it back to Dinkau? No, Ronaldo was right there. He tried getting it to us. I didn't even call for that. He just wanted to get it to Ronaldo. A decent idea. All right, so far, first 24 minutes, we look good. Better than I expected. Now, did I just jinx my team? Whenever I say anything, it always is a huge jinx. Salvez wins it. Okay, now we got space, though. Almeida gets it out to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Can go around to one defender here. Oh, he stands no chance. Literally no chance. Ronaldo going all the way, looking for his second, and he already has two. 19-year-old Ronaldo is tearing up Spain. Man, even with uh, the pace downgrade from becoming a striker in that height to 6'2", Ronaldo is still so quick. He's got that powerful speed now. Man, they could not catch up at all there. That shows how fast Ronaldo is. Yeah, maybe Spain's not as good as I'm thinking, because they have not looked good so far, actually. Hey, Ronaldo's on a hat-trick in his international debut. That would be very nice. Gorilla gets it over to Ferran Torres, though. Torres into Gavi. We are blocking that pass to uh, whoever that is. That's a shot, and that's... Okay, that's another shot, and that goes wide. Okay, maybe Spain will get into this game somehow. So far, though, it's been all Ronaldo. Yeah, this formation's actually working pretty well because the fullbacks are getting forward so much, and uh, Ricardo Pereira and Nuno Mendes are very good at getting forward, so maybe that's why this uh, setup works a lot. Look at Mendes. Mendes, oh, we should have got by Arnaud Martinez there. He asked to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, okay, I don't know what that was, but Silva... Yeah, it's to Ronaldo. Silva was our old rival in Season 1. Now, we're teammates at Portugal. Now, I'm gonna cross this in all the way over to... Oh my, what an attempt. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but that was decent. Almeida gets it to, oh man, Ronaldo. Chance for first half hat trick. And that shot was terrible. That was actually so bad. Man, we like totally scuffed that shot so far wide. Now, is that the first half or we get one final chance here? Didn't count. Good play it. Oh man, we got held up there. Okay, Ronaldo keeps it. Great dribbling though. And the ref blows the whistle. He always blows the whistle when we're on the attack. Okay, though, first half Ronaldo has already two on a hat trick in his Portugal debut. And I feel like we could get this hat trick. Spain have not looked uh, too threatening yet. And also their defense has looked uh, shocking. That was a foul, right? Here, wait, you're telling me that's not a foul? I got great skill in the top right, but it's not a foul. That makes no sense. Francisco Tadincao could play. Vit oh, my. Vitinha. What a ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo doesn't go for a... Oh! Skips by the defenders and then completes the hat trick. Okay, I gotta see that again. I don't know if that was actually intentional or was it a lucky bounce? But Ronaldo gets a hat trick on his Portugal debut. Vitinha, what a ball though. Now, was that... Oh, that might have actually been intentional. It was very lucky by me, but you know what? Let's see. So, Ronaldo goes for a Ronaldo chop to try and split the defenders. And I think... Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Does it go through? Oh, that's beautiful by Ronaldo. Look at the defenders. They both fell. Okay, that skill is actually disgusting. 3-0 in 54 minutes. Yeah, Ronaldo is becoming like the next big thing if he wasn't already. I think uh, Bruno Fernandes is on, also Jota's on. So some better players that I think probably should be starters. They're now in the field to make this even worse for Spain. Now let's go ball to Fan Torres though. Fan Torres gets it to Cucurea. He's gonna try and shoot. Antonio Silva blocks that. Then the keeper should have that. And he does. And Salvez, he knows Ronaldo's gonna be because of that chemistry. Ronaldo, man, he is just having quite a good game here. You know what? We're gonna try and play that. Oh. Great ball fed through. No, not quite as good. It was a decent idea. I don't know how Spain have been so bad today. I expected so much better. Who's I say that? Ricardo Pereira plays the worst pass I've ever seen right to a Spain player. The jinx is so real. Okay, this is not bad. Fernando Torres has a chance to play it into Navarro, which that isn't to be got by Inacio. Another one of Ronaldo's former teammates at Sporting. Yeah, I mean, there's chemistry in this team, although this is our first game. Definitely some players we've played with. And also players like Bruno Jota, who we've uh, played against in the Premier League. Ronaldo back to Almeida. Almeida. Oh, we tried to find us, man. I was going to go for a finesse shot. That is our spot. That's our finesse shot spot. Now, if we played left wing, who who would play as the Portugal striker? I don't know. Probably be someone that's not as good, right? Or maybe Jota would actually. No, Jota would play center forward. So it'd be like a Jota, Gonçalves, and Ronaldo front three. And a long ball to Pereira. Pereira. I am making a run. That cross attempt was so bad. Okay, this one's got to be better. Pereira. Cross it. Not bad, but... It, oh, it actually went through. Mendez gets it to Bruno. Bruno to Ronaldo. Try to feed in Bruno Fernandez, who shoots, and it's going to be blocked. I think definitely Diaz and Bruno are the two other best players in Portugal, so we got to build that chemistry with those two. Or more importantly, Bruno in the attack. Because if we want to win the World Cup, we need them. Jota gets it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, one pass over to Gonçalves, who's onside. No, he's offside. Oh, that would have been 4-0 right there. All right, final attack goes to Spain. This game was over for a while. They stood no chance versus Ronaldo. One final corner. That is going to be uh, cleared, and then also cleared by Inacio. Ronaldo, last clear and that is full time. So Ronaldo debut versus Portugal. He just scored a hat trick and we just dominated Spain. So what a debut for the 19 year old. This Portugal team may be a lot better than I thought they were. And of course, Ronaldo hat trick hero against Spain, stealing all the headlines. Now a day later, the whole team's in training and Ronaldo talks to Bruno Fernandes and Bruno says, we may be rivals in Manchester, but I'm very happy to have you here. We are desperate to try and win the World Cup after this season. And with you, we have a much better chance. And Ronaldo says he'll do whatever the team needs to help and that winning the World Cup 
Cup would be one of his ultimate dreams. I mean, you'd think with uh, Bruno Diaz and Ronaldo being probably the best three players for Portugal right now, with three players that good, there's a chance to win the World Cup. And after that first game, I'm feeling very optimistic here about this team. Now, our second game, though, is going to be another test. Now we're facing Italy. Definitely another very good team. So we might see if we're actually as good as we think we are, or if Spain were just that bad. So Portugal v Italy, Ronaldo kicks us off. Second game, second international game for Ronaldo. Let's see what we can do. See if it is anything like the first. Alves to Ronaldo. Man, I want to go for a shot here. I want to go for a shot so bad. That's a foul. Ronaldo skips past it and then Mancini blocks the shot. Gonzalez, okay, Gonzalez, good touch there actually, but then loses it to a very good right back in uh, Di Lorenzo. Dina, Nunez, Nunez, our teammate at Man City. Oh, that first touch was so heavy by Ronaldo though. Did not mean to do that. Okay, Italy are pressuring us a lot right now. Nunez, Nunez, you know where Ronaldo likes to be. Play one pass. Oh, we should have played it over one more. Okay, Nunez, cross it. You got room to cross it. Ronaldo goes for the corner. Actually, not the corner, the cross, but that was terrible. We tried to like take out the center back instead of going for the ball. Mendez gets sailed to Ronaldo. Ronaldo does a little spin. Great ball to Gonzalez. Pincao to Gonzalez. Alves over to Ronaldo. He just knows where he's going to be. Ronaldo gets it to Nunez is a little late. Actually, to Nunez. Nunez has a pass to Ronaldo. First time shot. And what a save by their keeper, though. Okay, definitely not a bad chance, though. Pereira to... Okay, it didn't count. What a cross, but Ronaldo can't get to it. Yeah, this game has started off uh, pretty hectic. Ronaldo up to Gonzalez. Gonzalez get it back to Ronaldo. This is the long shot spot. We're going for one. Oh, it has power, but not placement. And we haven't scored a one from this far out in a while, it feels like. You can definitely see the vision for it. Nunez to Ronaldo. Get it out wide. Ronaldo on a run. And Salvez, we're staying on side. Beautifully done, Ronaldo. We'll try and get around one. In the box. Goes for a finesse shot. Oh, that deflects in. That is a goal for Ronaldo. Man, even like balances, lucky balances are going our way right now. It is 1-0 to Portugal just like that. That's a very fortunate deflection. And also fortunate that it still counts as a Ronaldo goal. Just got around, I think, Di Lorenzo there. And then it's a shot that goes off the center back and it puts off their keeper. Hey, it's lucky, but we will absolutely take that. Yeah, off his like maybe his hip. Ronaldo just cannot stop scoring this season. Italy might respond here and they respond immediately with a goal of their own. Okay, that rules out. Ronaldo's goal, but okay, this game might be a bit different than Spain. It might actually be a matchup here. Yeah, that was pretty easy. That's like shockingly easy. So far, our defense has actually looked good, but right there, it did not look good. Yano trying to find a pass here. Oh man, that was so bad. That was actually so bad. And then we missed the sliding tackle just to add insult to injury. And they got a high line though. If we steal the ball back, Ronaldo's got some pace to run in behind, and it could be an easy second goal here. Moise Keen gets it to Locatelli. Nunes steals it back. No, it's gonna fall to them. Barella gets it. Barella has a pass here. No, gets to Berardi, and then Rui Silva makes a very good save there. Yeah, I like to see that, Ronaldo gonna try to dink it up to someone man is that handball oh thankfully it's handball that was smart by ronaldo ronaldo wins that header to nunez nunez back to ronaldo okay silver gonzalez i think you're offside there mendez mendez oh good cross it okay at least gets to gonzalez gonzalez i'm trying to find him something here some angle Gets it over. Man, we were just standing still there for way too long. Mendez, gonzalez ronaldo is in here. No, he should have played it to us, not Nunez. We were so in there. Hold up. Chance is not dead. Ronaldo. Oh my. That right there might be the worst shot of this entire series. I know he has four star weak foot, but why was that shot so bad? I have no clue what just happened there. Should be probably 2 1, but instead it's still just 1 1. Hey, Ronaldo is human. Dina. Ronaldo, get it out wide to Pereira. Pereira. Oh, could have played it to us there. That was a perfect chance for a long shot, I think. At least second half have held the ball so well right now. We are struggling to win the ball back. As I say that, though, the Dink Cowan's back. Oh, Ronaldo trying to find space here. Might play pass. No, I thought he would run quicker there. I thought it'd be the right pass, but it was not. This one has not been as easy as Spain. Definitely not. This is dangerous. That's going to be... I'm trying to block this pass away. Vitinha wins it back. Vitinha, keep going. Get it out wide. Come on. Another good pass. Beautiful. Oh, man. We're trying to use pace here, but we're barely on side. Now, I'm going to try to cross it to Consalves. That's going to deflect. It'll be a corner. Not that bad. Because Ronaldo is now a big threat from corners. Corner in. Oh, Ronaldo got to it, but I think he just bounced it up. Okay, 20 minutes. Still tied up 1-1. Mendez gets steal. Ronaldo will get a little pass to Jota. That's pretty nice. Nunez, Jota out wide. Mendez. Oh, I thought we were on side there. He didn't see us, though. Nunez. Didn't go. In to Ronaldo. Ronaldo will try and turn. Will turn there. Needs a pass. Okay, hold up. Everyone relax. Get to John Mario. John Mario, get it to Ronaldo. We're going to cross this in. Oh, it's a good cross. No, it's not. It's right to the Italian goalkeeper. Another chance. Didn't go. To Ronaldo. Ronaldo, long shot chance, but that's blocked. That might fall to... Uh, oh! That does fall to Jota, and he scores. How did Diogo Jota win that ball? I don't even know. But it's 2-1 to Portugal. Okay, I'll take it. So we took that shot and bounced back to Trincao, and uh, that was a deflected pass. Somehow Jota got to it first. What a nice finish from Jota, too. Okay, 10 minutes, and we have a one-goal lead now. Come on, they're going to push numbers now. But if we just get one breakaway, we can make this 3-1 and seal it. Look how, look how much they're pushed up. They got, like, only two center backs back. Oh, man, Barella gets it to a player that I cannot pronounce the name of. Gets it in. It's going to be Orsolini, and that's, uh, that's a good shot, but it's blocked. Okay, get the ball out calmly. Nice. Nice. Jao Felix. What a ball to Ronaldo from Jao Felix. Ronaldo's all alone here. Do we need help? Does he need help? I'm not sure he does. Actually, he might. 
We're going to play over to Nunez. All oh, this chance is now ruined. Nunez, Felix, into Ronaldo. Ronaldo will shoot. Oh, that chance was slowed down so much. Probably should have just went with Ronaldo. I don't know why I passed it. I tried to be a little bit unselfish, you know, get the team going too, but probably should have been Ronaldo solo run. Still, I think it'll be enough to waste time, and we do beat Italy 2-1. So Ronaldo score definitely didn't play as well against Spain, but first two games for Ronaldo of Portugal, that's four goals. Definitely not bad in his first two games for his country. All right, that was a very nice two games for Portugal, but now we're back at Man City. The World Cup is still in like about six months, so it's still a lot of time. And our next game with Man City is a just big one. It's the rematch versus Real Madrid, rematch versus Holland and Ronaldo. And right now in this group, we're in first four games, four wins. So if we win here, it would confirm us finishing first. If uh, Real Madrid win, then it probably goes down to the final match day. So it's a huge game for who finishes first in the group. And now Erling Holland in a press conference before this game says that in Manchester, Ronaldo definitely got the better of him. But he says it will not happen in Madrid. The team and I will respond in this rematch. And yeah, so one big game with Portugal leads to another big game with Man City. Anyway, we're battling it out against Holland for the Ballon d'Or. He's pretty much our main rival for that. And we scored four goals against him in the first game. You know he's going to want to have a response in this game now. And also, we got to win this and finish first in the group. Secure it today. Tonight, I guess. So, this should be interesting. Grealish, good still on reach, James. Okay, we could have a good start here. Any players running, though. McAtee, I see you. McAtee is making a run. Now, he's going to need help. Plays it back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo can go for a finesse shot. Militao, what a block. And I wanted to see where that shot was going, though. I feel like that was a good shot. Holland plays it to Brahim. Is he inside? Is he onside? Oh, my hardwood. Is it hardwood Ellis? He just saved a goal right there because he was onside. Grealish gets it to Rodri to Ronaldo with space. Ronaldo versus Militao. Ronaldo chop around him. Goes all the way around him. Ronaldo shoots and Courtois makes the save. That would have been so nice. Man, Ronaldo is just literally in form since the season began Here we got a free kick no Ronaldo shouldn't take this okay we're gonna we're gonna swing this one in why not trying to play it kind of the far post you know what that's a great free kick but Holland is the one to clear it of course he is okay that's a rebound it goes right back to Courtois though oh no Holland plays it over to Brahim is another chance he's probably not gonna miss a second chance and he's not gonna miss it okay Real Madrid score the first goal of the game Holland gets the assist and uh Brahim gets the goal hey we knew they were gonna respond and they have let's see now if we can respond ball to Jack Grealish Grealish play it through oh man he should have played it through are we offside now we are offside Grealish I needed a bit sooner there yeah they are playing much better this game than they were last game Bellingham Brahim is gonna maybe find Holland there I see him top of the box gets it to Holland Takes his time, but Ruben Diaz stops him. Man, we just can't get the ball right now. De Bruyne loses it. Okay, another steal there. Can we keep the ball, actually? Good ball to McAtee. Gives it to Ronaldo. Bowden, I see you far post. Actually, Ronaldo might beat Militao here. Might. Goes around one. Plays it over to McAtee, who shoots. And Courtois makes another save. Corner in. Ronaldo. Kind of far out. Header. Can't get it. Gonna go to McAtee to Ronaldo. Back out to De Bruyne. Actually, De Bruyne played to Ronaldo. We're going for a long shot here. Left foot. Why not? Left foot long shot. That'll be a corner. Oh, no. Brahim. He's going to go for another shot. Okay, Brahim is in form for this game. Uh, Real Madrid might be their most informed player. Junia, De Bruyne, Ronaldo. Get it to Grealish. Good ball. Okay, we got space here. Ronaldo's going to go towards the middle. Grealish. I need a good cross. That's a good cross. Ronaldo. Oh, what a finish by Ronaldo. I have not seen that one so far in this series. It's 1-1. Now, that was a great cross from Jack Grealish. Once again, Ronaldo just cannot stop scoring. But okay, yeah, that cross was in a very good spot. Ronaldo goes for like a sliding finish. I like it. I have not seen that one yet in this series. Okay, 1-1 in the 40th minute. There's a response. Yeah, Ronaldo literally might score like 60 goals this year. He might. Because the man, it just cannot stop scoring. Valverde. Okay, Kyle Walker, what was that? Why did the camera shift? Valverde wins back though over to Bellingham. And that goes over the net. McAtee gets to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, good first touch there. Very good first touch. We're going to try to play it all oh, back. Someone did not work though. Okay, first half it's tied up. That was a good response. A big next 45 minutes in this group coming up. Now, if we draw, I'm not sure there's a way the Real Madrid could overtake us in the group though. So maybe a draw would be as good as a win. Obviously, we want the win though. De Bruyne, back to Acuna. Ronaldo, get it back to Acuna. Okay, I want it back. Give it to Ronaldo. Get it over to De Bruyne now. De Bruyne. Oh man, did, did he try and play it back to us there and I didn't get it? I don't know what he tried there. Jesus over to Bellingham. Do not let Holland score. Harwood Ellis had a great game. Young player coming in to play center back. He's doing great. Cunha, Grealish. Get it back to him. No, we should have got it back to him there. Cunha tries to play it to Ronaldo. Oh, what a flip by Ronaldo. Goes for a volley. Oh, that would have been disgusting by Ronaldo. I can't believe that actually worked. Corner in by Foden. The new teammate chemistry bonus. And Courtois makes the save. Same thing, Foden. Same spot. Same spot. Ronaldo. Oh, man. That had so much power to it. But nowhere near the net. Okay, we're starting to uh, come to life here even more. De Bruyne looking for a pass. Gets it back. Grealish cross. Oh, man, that was not a bad cross. Just needed more height to it. Bellingham through to Erling Holland. Please, no. Gets it over to Jesus. Gabriel Jesus will get a sh chance to shoot here, maybe. Okay, Kyle Walker. Never mind. He prevents that. Oh, the pass from Ronaldo is disgustingly nice. The skill. Grealish to De Bruyne. This looks good. De Bruyne. Okay, plays it way too late. Over to... McAtee shoots. No, I thought it was Foden, to be honest. I thought it was Foden. Oh, man, if I knew that was McAtee, I would have shot that. Man, he should have scored that. Ronaldo, get it out wide. Nunez, Foden to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. 
goes around one. Oh man, that's a very good tackle though. I think that was by Marquinhos. We are putting pressure on Courtois. That's a very bad clearance. Hey, hold up, Grealish, cross that thing and no, we were so free there in the far post. This is very uh, chaotic. It's Bellis, not Ellis Hardwood, Bellis throw in. Ronaldo, okay, I don't know what that throw in was. Rodri, De Bruyne to Ronaldo, keep it. Okay, just keep it. Lay it out wide, the great ball to Walker. Nunez, Nunez, Ronaldo, no, Ronaldo was right there. Nunez didn't see us. Takes it out wide, Walker into Ronaldo. One more pass to Bruyne. De Bruyne, shoot that. De Bruyne does score and he makes it 2-1. Okay, it said great assist in the corner. Is that actually Ronaldo's assist? Because it bounced a few times before we're actually to run a score. I think it's actually Ronaldo's assist. Yeah, we could have shot there, but I feel like the better shot was De Bruyne. And that's a great finish by our captain. 2-1 to Manchester City. If we only need a draw, that could be a very big blow to Real Madrid's uh, hopes of getting first. I feel like we've been better though. Like maybe first half, uh, Real Madrid were a little bit better. But second half, we've been much better so far. And uh, Mr. Erling Holland has been very quiet after all those big words. He has struggled against his former team. Maybe Pep Guardiola knows how to defend Holland just like that. Right when I said it. Yes to Ronaldo. No, Ronaldo. Okay. Oh, he's offside. That would have worked, actually. I didn't even mean to do that. All right, still got 12 minutes. Don't want to say anything too soon. Still some game left. Walker, good steal, though. Now, that could be a good header to Ronaldo. It is. Ronaldo. Get it to Kevin De Bruyne. Slow down a little bit, De Bruyne. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Good ball. Acuna to Jack Grealish. Oh, what a move by Manchester City. It is 3-1 versus Real Madrid. That was a great team goal right there. Great team goal. Not gonna lie, since we've played striker, the team actually has played better. I don't know if that's a direct cause or what, but it is something to keep in mind in that vote. And Holland is still trying here. He's trying, but it's just not working. He has been shut down in this game. Okay, Bellingham might get one back for Real Madrid here. Nope, he will not. Defense has been very good. And that is full time. So 3-1 is the final score line. So in the rematch, Ronaldo gets a goal, also one assist, and we get the better of Real Madrid and Erling Holland for the second time. Could this mean there's a new player taking over Erling Holland's spot as best player in the world? And now speaking of best players in the world, there's a tweet we just saw on Twitter saying that Kylian Mbappe is currently struggling at his new team Liverpool. He's played seven games in the Prem and has yet to score a goal. So everything's not going great for Kylian so far. It's not really what I expected, you know, seven games, uh, no goals yet. Not even any like assist to Salah or Cody Gakpo. So that is, uh, that's very interesting. But okay, we confirm finishing first in our Champions League group perfect so far, basically. And then after a recent Sim Prem Premier League win. We are now tied with Manchester United in first place above them on goal difference actually. So we're in first place. So this Man City team is starting to find some form. And of course Ronaldo 20 games, 19 goals and 10 assists. One ahead of Salah now in the Premier League Golden Boot race. So we've now entered the month of December. And as we know what happens in December is a very big event in football. This event is held in France and it could be a very big moment for Ronaldo. As right now he gets a call from his agent and she says I have some more very good news for you. Next week you've been invited to the Ballon d'Or ceremony and she says you've been nominated for the best young player award and Ronaldo asks her have I been nominated for the Ballon d'Or as well we will find that out in the next episode if you enjoyed this one then of course drop a like and if you want to watch an Ajax career mode full movie then click on screen to watch that